Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Today I have a very exciting video and I'm really looking forward to sharing all these little tips with you. A lot of you who may know me know I'm super into K-beauty, Korean skincare, Korean makeup. And today I wanna share some tips with you from Korean makeup artists. Now, listen, Korean makeup artists, when it comes to skin, when it comes to eyes, well, when it comes to everything, know their stuff, like, insane. So today I want to share some of the tips I have picked up over years, just over years of watching content and, and reading things from makeup artists from South Korea. Anybody knows subtle but really effective makeup, it is South Korean makeup artists. So we're gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be getting a perfect base, perhaps using some things and using some techniques that you may not do every day. I personally don't do every day. And you never know, it might become a new habit for you. This video is very kindly sponsored by Skin. Cupid. So Skin Cupid is a K-Beauty and J-Beauty online store. They have an amazing choice of products on their website, including some of the top trending K-Beauty and J-Beauty products. So you have a lot to choose from. I had the best time going through and choosing what I was going to use for this look because there was stuff I wanted, there was stuff I needed. Skin Cupid are based in the UK, which is absolutely incredible, but they do ship worldwide. So anyone can check out their website and see if there's anything you want to grab. They have very kindly also so giving me a discount code, it's down below, Robert10, I'll pop it on the screen here for you. But do check out all the links that I'll leave to the products in the description box below for any more information down there also. Okay, so I haven't prepped my skin or anything. I, I've done my brows, but my skin is actually feeling really dry and really tight. So what we, oh God, what's this here? So the first product we're going in with, these are incredible by the way. I love sheet masks and things like that, but sometimes they don't fit my face. <laughs> these are from one of my favorite brands at the moment, Unleashia, and these are the Sezua Tasmanian Paper Calming Two-Piece Pad. There's 70 pads in here. So one thing that you'll see a lot of artists do is use these kind of toner pads on the skin and leave them on while they are doing eye makeup. Probably couldn't do that with a sheet mask because <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to see your face or your eyes really. And these pads in particular are very calming and soothing on the skin. So perhaps you have quite red skin or um, a little bit of an uneven skin tone. These are gonna help even that out and prep your skin. But it also, and this is key, it helps control oil production. We need that balance. We need that um, not too much oil, not like not enough oil in the skin, so that's exactly what we need. Okay, let's do the eyes. We'll come back to the skin a little bit later because there's a little bit more prep there. Again, from Unleashia, the, they are really like one of my favorite brands at the moment. This is the Glitterpedia All Off Lavender Fog Palette. Now it says glitter palette, but not all the shades are glitter and this glitter is kind of quite chunky. It's not like um, that um, really horrible, messy glitter. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know me and glitter anyway. It's quite nude and neutral, but the purples and these shimmers pack quite a punch. So we'll be using those on top. And we have a little bit of something else which I'm going to stack on top as well. So let's take this kind of darker neutral shade here. And what we're gonna do with this is something, usually when I start my eye makeup, I start in the socket and bring it up um, quite high and kind of aim to do this kind of winged out look. But we're gonna keep a lot of the detail on the lids today and a little bit less in the socket. So I'm literally just taking the whole brush and moving that across the lid. And you notice I'm using a blending brush still and not like a flat brush, because we kind of want that nice, almost washed out tint of color. One thing I've noticed about K-beauty and the way the um, makeup style is done by professional makeup artists is they really like to layer their products and they give their eyeshadow depth. They, they start off with something a little bit darker, a little bit mid-tone, and then they build it up from there. Whereas a lot of the time we would maybe do like a lighter base and then go in with darker on the outside corner. We're starting with our, our darkest first. This eyeshadow is so smooth. You can see it goes on. I was to say just like powder, but it is powder, but like a really soft, really manageable powder. I actually have a few of these palettes already. I think you saw me use them before in a few videos. Love it really nice. I'm just going to grab a bit of a blending brush and just soften up any product that we've got in the socket. I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with this deeper kind of purple. It's almost cranberry, but not as red. And then let's just run that deep in the socket here and just soften it up again, give that a little buff out. These pads on my skin, sometimes like things dry up super quick, but these still feel incredibly like 
hydrated still. I was gonna say moist, but I know people hate that word. And still quite cold. They're really, really just relaxing on the skin. And then I want to go in with this shade here. This is the most stunning, almost duotone pinky purple. And we're gonna tap that across the whole lid. And we'll just soften up through the socket here. I love this. Okay, let's go back in with that deeper cranberry shade right here. And then let's just go just along the lash line. See how it just adds a little bit of um, density near the lash? And then with our darker brown and a small like ankle brush, I'm gonna go literally right across the lash line. Okay, let's remove these. I'm actually gonna use them to wipe away any fallout under the eye. We want our skin to take in what it can, so I'm just gonna tap what's left. My skin feels so smooth around this area. I'm used to it being so dry. And don't waste any of that moisture. Rub it into your hands or your, you know, your fingers. Mm, my skin feels bouncy. It feels very beautiful. Okay, let's carry on prepping the skin before we finish up under the eyes and actually go into foundation. So I have two options. I'm going to show you both. A lot of the time with prepping the skin, yes, it's super important. Um, and it's definitely something you'll see in K-Beauty. There's a lot of skincare focus, which is great. But you'll notice when a lot of makeup artists, um, it's actually a, a well-known kind of thing in makeup artistry, that you don't pile up too much product. Um, it can disturb the foundation. It can, you know, do all this other stuff. So primers and things like that aren't very popular. So when it comes to prepping the skin, if you're oily or you are maybe not extremely dry, but a little bit dry, we're just gonna use a spray, that's it. So this is the Nasific Fresh Herb Origin Revival Mist. And you can see it's that kind of like duo phase spray. So this spray, one, it smells incredible, but it's formulated with a blend of citrus extracts. And that helps nourish, it helps brighten, it helps hydrate. It just leaves the skin feeling revitalized. So there's orange peel oil on this, and also something called meadow foam seed oil, but they basically help to tighten the skin a little bit. So if you are kind of oilier, maybe you're a little bit worried about the appearance of pores, of course we can't completely shut them, but we can help to kind of minimize the appearance. I just like to spray. I like to go at it and then just fan it dry. I don't tap it in. I just kind of let it do what it needs to do. So if you are a little bit dry, perhaps you like to build up your products a little bit more, that's absolutely fine. We can go for a different option. One of my recommendations is always just to use a hyaluronic acid serum. And this is something that is also quite popular amongst makeup artists in South Korea, because again, it's skin prepping without over prepping. You won't find makeup artists anywhere dripping anything on the face, just nice and simple. So this is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Anti-Wrinkle Serum. So it is an anti-aging serum, but it also doubles as a spot treatment for wrinkles. It has fermented black rice extract and vitamin E, which is great for the skin, of course. And over time, it will help even out texture and fine lines and make your skin nice and bright. And I like to just kind of tap it into the skin, take my time applying this and really push it in. It is so super lightweight, like you wouldn't really feel this on the skin. If you if you're oily and you wanted to layer this on top of that mist, I would absolutely do so, or vice versa. But do just let your skin have some time to absorb it all properly. The skin is also all about the glow. Yes, we have our skincare doing the work, but let's also give it a little bit of help, right? Now, I know a lot of people shy away from SPF, especially when it comes to under makeup, because when we think of SPF, especially SPF 50, we think of heavy, at the beach, pure white on the skin, smells funny, sand is all over us, like too much. If you want a good lightweight SPF for under foundation, K Beauty Brands are the way to go, 100%. Anyone will tell you that. So this is the Hamish Artless Glow Base, SPF 50 PA++++. You know when everyone was like glass skin, glass skin, glass skin, when basically it was just like really glowy, healthy looking skin. If you want that look, this is the one. So this helps even out pores and texture while also giving you a glow and protection with the SPF. You can use it, oh look, 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 look. You can use it under your makeup, of course, but you can absolutely use it alone if you just want your skin to have a really beautiful glow with that added SPF, with that added protection. Oh my God, my skin is just, glowing. My skin feels super hydrated, super like bouncy and nice, but I don't feel over prepped. I feel this is the perfect amount. Let's go in with this 
first. You're going to be like, why, why, Robert? Because you don't like glitter. But I mean, I just have to show you this. This is the, again, we're going to unleash here. So I'm going to need to show you this close up. Of course, I chose purple. So this is a glitter gel. So the glitter already contains the adhesive. So you don't have to like glue it to the lid. It's slightly holographic and just grips to the lid. Super easy to apply. And we're just going to tap a very light layer on top of our eye makeup. Oh my God. I'm not gonna go above the socket. I'm just tapping on the lid. Oh, that's so, that is really cute. Oh my God. Oh, this gives a really nice shine. Okay, cool. Try not to drag because you don't want to um, interrupt the eyeshadow underneath. And this comes in different shades as well. It, oh my, everything just looks nice and glossy and shiny. Okay, let's move on. So this is Cleo's Kill Cover Liquid Concealer. Now, this is a matte finish concealer. So one thing I saw a lot of um, makeup artists do in South Korea is actually something people do as makeup artists anyway, because we, we don't use the applicator straight from the applicator to the eye, is put a bit on the back of their hand and then use their brush to kind of just play with a product and melt it down a little bit, taking like minimal, minimal amounts at a time and just gently brushing it onto the eye area. Now we're not going in dot here, dot here. We're just literally tinting the under eye area. Oh God, I really like that. Look at that. And you can still see my skin underneath. I mean, look, I put all that on my hand and I'm using like the most minimal amount Ever. I'm almost brushing it out and waiting for it to dry a little bit and then taking what's on the brush. This feels like, like really satisfying for some reason. Just seeing like the product tint the skin. Ooh. Like I feel like it's part of my skin. I feel like that concealer is actually my face and not makeup, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation. This is the Satin Wear Healthy Green Cushion. SPF 30 PA++, it comes with your cushion in here, and it does usually have a little protector on it, but like I said, I use it, and you just press this little bit here for the color to come out. So again with this, we're gonna take a little bit on our pad here, but I'm gonna work from the back of my hand again. I'm gonna put ex excess product on the back of my hand, and then go in with the foundation. The great thing about putting this product on the back of your hand, and you know, taking a little bit, a bit at a time is you're not outdoing all that work we've just done on the skin to give us that really amazing glow because we're controlling how much product we're using and taking our time to press it into the skin with very minimal amount, very minimal effort. I'm gonna go back into our palette and take this deeper brown that we used before and just run that under the eye very quickly. This is one of my favorite products of all time. We're gonna sculpt the face a little bit in a different way to perhaps you might do it usually. This is a too cool for school art class shading compact. Look at this. This is one of the most popular products in South Korea. And you can see why it's like everything you need in one. So you have it a bit, something that's a bit more bronzy here, a bit more contour in this area. And you can use this kind of as a matte highlight if you wanted to. And you can use all the colors together, separate just to find your perfect shade. Okay, I want a flatter brush for this. I'm actually gonna mix all the shades together. And where we would usually contour, whoop, under the cheekbone here, I was watching the video and they were like, yeah, that's a very American way to do it. The artist was using it on the actual cheekbone and just brushing very gently like this. So almost like where we would be doing our blush. Now, of course, this absolutely depends on face shape, but on a lot of people, if you're doing it on your cheekbones, it still kind of looks sculpted. <laughs> I like, it's oddly sculpted, right? It has like this really nice kind of like lift to it, despite it being kind of like, I guess what a bronzer would do. Now, I would usually go in maybe with a lighter one and mattify a little bit in this area, but there's a powder trick I want to show you a little bit later with a powder I have also. Let's go onto our lips. I just want to nude them out a bit. So this is from Etude House. If you're familiar with K-Beauty, you know Etude House. This is the fixing tint. This is a kind of a matte finish uh, lip tint. It's known as being like mask proof. So if you are still in a position where you need to wear masks, this is a great one to go for. Super lightweight and super hydrating. Oh my God, it's like Halloween pumpkin. Oh my God. It goes on so smooth. Feels like water. That feels beautiful. It looks like Technicolor. You know when they, they color like old film? Let me show you this trick with a powder. This was a trick that I learned from an iconic, iconic 
makeup artist. Her name is Jung Seymour, and you may know that name from a brand because she has her own makeup line. Just such an incredible, incredible artist. Like, oh my God, the way she does skin. And the powder we're gonna use to finish up is the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish powder. It's a loose powder. It does smell slightly like peach and it does come with a pad in if you want to touch up and things like that. However, we are going to use a flat foundation brush. Now this powder, it helps to set, it helps to mattify, but it contains micro silica. If you're not familiar what, with what that is, you'll find it a lot in like jet milled powders and things like that, where it has this really super soft, slightly blurring look to it. It just makes the skin look a little bit smoother and softer. So this is a really great kind of powder you want to go for. So I'm going to take a foundation brush on its side and I'm literally going to gently wipe that across the skin. I saw her do this. I was like, what? I was like, a flat foundation brush. I'll just do one side of the face so you can see. So we're setting our foundation. We're mattifying but without completely mattifying and without completely getting rid of the shine, because in a few minutes when our oil comes through, we still want to have a bit of a glow. Never in my life have I used a flat foundation brush for powder. So this is the side with the glow. We can also just do this in areas where we don't want the shine. And we're not dragging, we're not wiping, we're just using the edge of that brush and gliding it across the skin. It feels... I thought it might be a little bit weird, but it feels incredible going on. I love this lip color so much. So our mascara, this is actually a Japanese product, but SkinCuba do sell J Beauty also. And this is the Ice and Kiss Me Heroin Volume and Curl Mascara. And it's water resistant. A lot of people ask me for a good tubing mascara. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, it creates kind of what it sounds like, a tube like coat around your lash. So it is so easy easy to remove with like a um, oil base remover. Or if you're naughty, you pick it off. I absolutely love this brush. Or oh, maybe I should show you the brush. Look at that curve. But also look closely. Look how the it's kind of like densely packed for hairs and they kind of like have a little grip on the end. That's gonna pull your lashes through. So use that curve to cup your lashes and pull through. And that is the finished look. I am absolutely in love with these eyes. I think they are so beautiful. My skin has this, look, you just see how it catches the light occasionally. I'm powdered, I'm set, but I have a really nice glow from within to the skin. I'm so happy with, with all of this. Good choices. I mean, granted I used some of it before, so I know it was good. Absolutely, absolutely adore it. Oh, I got mascara under my eyes. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you to SkinCupid again for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I have a discount code down below for you and I will link all the products down there for you also. Thank you again for joining me. Do consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.